a pill will relieve your pain for an hour but it is going to drop your kidney function forever so natural doesn't mean it's always safer for the human non vegetarian protein can change the gfr smoking or alcohol has no effect on the kidneys if you take alcohol probably you pass more urine and you are protecting the kidneys Well, today's topic is something what everyone is playing unknowingly, that is protein powders, painkillers, and other medicines which are silently damaging your kidney. So, welcome to the program, doctor, and it's a pleasure to have you. Same here. Thank you. And I must confess, I mean, uh, there are few days where I had more painkillers than water. To my mind, this is one of the most pertinent questions that we can discuss today. Main reason being. as a country we are seeing so much of kidney disease it's a huge burden present understanding 20% of the population has kidney problems so do kidneys uh, suffer silently or uh, loudly when they are in trouble like the silent first bench student one of the main reasons is whenever there is a problem in the kidney and the function drops it doesn't tell us that the kidney function is dropping commonest things that we do wrong are taking medicines which we don't need and in the list if i can make four of them as medicines which can damage the kidney the top of the list is by painkillers followed by antibiotics third there are certain drugs we call as antacids or proton pump inhibitors they also can cause so one by one if you look at the fourth category there are certain rare drugs which can be used for a specific disease like contrast which is given for a testing or certain anti cancer drugs or a particular type of disease uh, treating drugs so someone popping painkillers just like toffees is there any safe method or uh, a safe dose you have people who have diabetes who have people who have high blood pressure they have some kidney problem which may slowly progress over 10 years 20 years but what we are doing by insulting the kidney by taking medicines that journey of 20 years we are going to do in 4 to 5 years so there are a list of do's and don'ts which we can do so that we don't reduce this duration which is a dialysis free period for all of us coming to the second part of your question about painkillers which are safe so first thing i said was do you really need it yeah second if there is a muscle catch you don't need a painkiller you need a muscle relaxant so you can apply something topical like an ointment like a gel first thing is do i need a painkiller second thing can i get away with hot fermentation exercise physiotherapy third thing can i use only topical fourth thing then only i decide which one how long to use so both are important which drug and how many uh, days to use most of the times it is not the drug per se taken today i continue to do it in other words i am insulting my kidney again and again kan chaalu mandi it's just one tablet teeskunte em parledu is that a da- dangerous thinking <laughs> it is a dangerous thinking because all of us have a finite capacity of the kidney our kidneys work every minute every day every week every month throughout the year this glomerular filtration rate is nothing but the kidney function calculated per minute so most of us at 40 years of age have 90 ml of gfr though the average in our country is little different you can take as an example we have 90 ml of filtration per minute at 50 years my filtration comes down to 80 ml normal at 60 it comes down by another 10 ml so with age my kidney is dropping 1 ml of filtration per year so when i take a painkiller one tablet thinking that it is just one tablet my filtration drops not 1 ml per year it can drop 1 ml per week 1 ml per month so i believe this much of knowledge 
మన అందరిలో కూడా మందులు అవసరం ఉన్నప్పుడు మాత్రమే వాడాలి ఎంత డోజు అవసరం ఉంటే అది మాత్రమే వేసుకోవాలి ఎన్ని రోజులు అవసరం ఉంటే అన్ని రోజులు మాత్రమే వేసుకోవాలి ఈ మూడు మనం పాటించగలిగితే మెడిసిన్స్ కెన్ నాట్ డ్యామేజ్ అవర్ కిడ్నీస్ అనాథ కామన్ విత్ ఇస్ యూనో పీపుల్ టెన్ టు డ్రింక్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఆఫ్టర్ పాఫింగ్ అప్ ద స్పెయిన్ కిల్లర్ థింకింగ్ దాట్ ఇట్ వుడ్ యూనో బ్యాలెన్స్ ద డ్యామేజ్ అది కరెక్ట్ అంటారా ఒక రకంగా కరెక్టే ఎందుకంటే వెన్ ఐ టేక్ మోర్ లిక్విడ్ ఐ ఆమ్ డైల్యూటింగ్ ద డ్రగ్ ఇన్ మై కిడ్నీ ట్యూబ్యూల్స్ so in other words it may have some benefit but it still doesn't reduce the toxicity if the dose that i am taking is more and the duration i am taking is more so it's good to take more liquid on a daily basis so that we prevent infections we prevent uh, medicine induced toxicity we prevent stones and most important thing about water intake is better to take it throughout the day not at one time So do you think you know someone stops taking painkillers uh, the damage is reversible part of the damage is definitely reversible it is like you smoke for 10 years you stop it today but the effect of the smoking continues for next 10 years though the effect keeps on coming down whatever gfr i have dropped because of painkillers may never come back to the normal level but it will definitely improve to some extent may not come back to the baseline so it's like you know the painkillers can cure your uh, headache or your body aches temporarily but that gives a tension on the kidneys for long term yes so i think a pill this moment will relieve your pain for an hour but it is going to drop your kidney function forever So now let's talk about antibiotics. You know most of them just like uh, popping painkillers they also pop antibiotics without any prescription. Do you think that's safe? If 10 people are taking antibiotic for a reason, 9 of them probably don't need it. There are so many ifs and buts. If you are taking a antibiotic without thinking what you are taking, why you are taking, I believe that is a wrong thing to do. and whether you need it or you don't need it when you take it you are going to damage your kidneys so if there is one thing that we can improve as a community taking medicines unnecessarily which includes painkillers antibiotics and then that will lead to a healthier country another important aspect most of us will be reading in the papers and in print and uh, social media India has one of the highest antibiotic resistance so you have a infection you give the correct antibiotic but the bacteria don't respond to it this is because of the indiscriminate use of the antibiotics so much of the antibiotic is consumed by normal people who don't need it the drug is exposed to the bacteria and the bacteria develops resistance to it so just by understanding the simple things as a community we can improve our antibiotic resistance to such an extent tomorrow you have a infection you use a antibiotic it actually works whereas now there are many antibiotics which are good antibiotics 90% resistance that's very well explained doctor so now let's talk about the natural danger most of us think that ayurvedic or herbal medicines are safe what are your thoughts on this so రోజు మన ప్రాక్టీస్లో చాలామంది మేము ఇంగ్లీష్ మెడిసిన్స్ వాడడం లేదు ఆయుర్వేదిక్ హోమియోపతిక్ యునాని వాడుతున్నాము అని రిపోర్ట్స్తో వచ్చి కిడ్నీ డ్యామేజ్తో వచ్చే వాళ్ళు ఉన్నారు సింపుల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు మేక్ మెడిసిన్ హ్యాజ్ సైడ్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మెడిసిన్ వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హోమియోపతిక్ మెడిసిన్ వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆయుర్వేదిక్ మెడిసిన్ ద మినిట్ యూ టేక్ ఎ మెడిసిన్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ అన్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆన్ యువర్ బాడీ అండ్ దట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ కెన్ బీ గుడ్ or it can be a side effect so natural doesn't mean it's always safer for the human no medicine means medicine so now let's come to the most popular topic that is protein these days most of uh, most of them are on high protein diet or taking high protein supplements after working out so what is the effect of high protein diet on the kidneys protein is broadly classified into vegetarian protein and non vegetarian protein vegetarian protein has no insult on the kidneys non vegetarian protein can change the gfr 
Because of that, when somebody has an underlying problem, even very, very small, by taking excess amounts of non-veg protein, you can hasten the progression of the kidney disease. So, heavy protein intake has a bearing on the kidney function, causing the damage to progress faster. In a normal individual with normal GFR, this may not happen. Therefore, we restrict protein for those people who have a kidney problem and tell them specifically to reduce non-vegetarian. So the kidneys are, you know, we agreed to work normal time but not over time for long run. <laughs> exactly. So as we just discussed, we should be more aware of whether it is a medicine or a particular diet, type of diet which is prescribed, why I am doing it and what does it actually do to my body. And it's always best to consult your doctor and under supervision to take any of the medicines. Yes, especially when you are having an underlying problem. You should not take medicine or diets which are prescribed without proper understanding. Another common myth, doctor, most of us think that, you know, smoking or alcohol has no effect on the kidneys. Is it true or false? I'm not sure it's a myth because many people know that both of them affect the kidneys. So I believe if somebody thinks that smoking does not affect the kidneys, the answer is a big no. Smoking affects the kidneys is the truth. The minute you smoke, there is a vasoconstriction, which means your blood vessels go into spasm and the blood vessel diameter decreases, your blood pressure increases in the body. This happens inside the kidneys also. So, any form of kidney disease progresses much, much faster when you smoke. Alcohol, you are right, to some extent, people used to think there is no bearing on the kidney. Somebody in a recent interview asked me, if you take alcohol, probably you pass more urine and you are protecting the kidneys. So, for many years, there was no clarity. In the last 10 years also, there is strong data if you are having even a very small early stages of kidney disease, regular alcohol intake progresses your kidney disease much faster. So as you've mentioned that our kidneys, uh, you know, they are some beautiful organs working, doing a great job continuously, but they suffer silently for a long period of time. So are there any screening tests that you would recommend that everybody, irrespective of their uh, age or condition, should get it done? I think that is the next most important thing. We understood there is a huge burden. We understand there are things which we are doing which is making this burden increase. Now we come to how do we make sure we have healthy kidneys. Yearly one test of blood test, serum creatinine which is used to calculate the filtration to urinary albumin. If my serum creatinine calculated as filtration is low or urinary albumin is present, I am already having kidney disease, maybe early stage. And there are a list of things we generally put on paper, 10 to 12 of them, do's and don'ts. If I can do them, I can avoid further disease progression in my kidneys. So, are you at high risk? First question. If you are at high risk, are you doing your annual screening test? If you are doing it, what is the value? Is it normal? Is it abnormal? If it is abnormal, are you seeing a nephrologist? Have you taken a list of do's and don'ts apart from your specific treatment? And the minute you follow these, we have such wonderful interventions now to prevent any progression of kidney disease once it is diagnosed. So thank you for clearing some myths today. Looks like the internet is lying to us a lot these days about kidney health. <laughs> More important is what is relevant for me may not be relevant for others. So when you go onto the net and Google it, you may get totally irrelevant information or wrong information for your particular problem. That filtration your uh, Google cannot do. So you need somebody who knows a little more than you and can interpret it better than the Google when there is a reason. Finally, doctor, if there is one message that you would like to share with our viewers out there, you want them to remember for lifelong, what is that one message? Today's interview, I would strongly recommend 
avoid unnecessary medication even when you think they are simple medicines because there is nothing like a simple medicine medicine means side effect so thank you doctor for such an informative uh, episode and thank you for spreading the awareness about kidney health it was pleasure having me thank you 